Rookies, there is something so exciting about seeing a player in their first year. You have an inkling of what they could do, of what they could be. But this is the first time they are playing high level competition, night in and out. In the past 37 years, 30 rookie of the years or 81% have become all stars and 8 of them or 21.6% have become MVPs. And John Morant has already excelled. He's been putting on a show in a dazzling way exceeding his already high expectations. So what makes him so good? What is up dudes to that Spallers players, it's your boy MJ. John Morant has done a lot in just a few months. He's broken ankles and gotten the respect of Lou Will. <laughs> Thank you. He's been on a personal dunking revenge tour without even getting dunked on. And most importantly, he's having fun. Hey! But Jaws also putting up 17.8 points and 6.9 assists on 48% from the field and 39% from three. Yeah, so I thought it was time to look at John Morant and figure out why he's been so good. Drop it like for how many times Ja has dunked on people. 6,171. Cause you know he dunked on people in practice. And thanks for all the love on TikTok. Y'all really like taco. And to the 1.87 million people that watch my videos that still aren't subscribed, uh, that's a lot of people. John Morant almost ended Kevin Love, so please subscribe. Also, only like 8% of you got notifications on, so uh, just turn them on. To show how special Ja has been as a rookie, here's a graph from The Athletic on rookie scoring usage versus efficiency. The more upper right you are, the better. And there's Ja who is on par with players like Kyrie's rookie year. The Grizzlies are also somehow 8th in the Western Conference. John Morant has an extremely wiry frame for someone who's able to exert so much force. Morant is 6'3", but only 174 pounds. Even for a rookie, that's skinny. He's actually the fifth lightest player in the NBA by listed weight right now. But no one's really able to push Morant off his spots. Sure, defenders might cut him off when he's trying to drive, but to physically run him off, that doesn't happen. It's unusual to Stay at least, but it can be explained by how low Morant stays while driving. The lower you can stay, the lower your center of gravity is, and the more balanced you are. And in the air, he's just barreling his body against the other defender. And with a 42 inch vertical, he's a freak. Nani? This was a scouting report of John Morant before he was drafted, and something that seems simple but is truly unique. Ja possesses athleticism that is off the charts for a guard. It is not the same level level as Derrick Rose or Russell Westbrook, but is definitely comparable for a rookie year. But the synchronization of his change of pace with his body and change of pace in his handles is crazy. Like on this dunk on Aaron Baines, John Morant goes from a 0 to 100 real quick foot speed wise, but that crossover is wide yet quick enough to match his pace. Aaron Baines gets dunked on way too many times. It's like what Russell Westbrook does in the fast break at times. At the same time, Morant will also slow down his dribble. He likes to let the ball hang in the air. Sometimes he'll explode off that. Other times he'll keep serving the floor. It's like a weird hybrid of Harden and Westbrook. He has that explosiveness, but he's not just relying on it. He can be slithery, methodical while driving to the paint, but he'll threaten with his speed. And that is special for a rookie. To have that level of composure to not over rely on one thing or another while getting hounded by multiple defenders at once is amazing. When nothing is there, he actually pulls back instead of forcing it. Morant already has the ball on a string. 
This patience also translates to his playmaking. At 6.9 assists per game, he is certainly making plays. His teammate Dylan Brooks said that he sees plays 4 or 5 moves ahead. He sees little pockets of space that a lot of players can't see and it's a benefit to us. Morant can pretty much make every pass imaginable. He's a flashy passer, he will rifle passes, but more importantly, he's also a creator. He attacks the rim and creates a lot of opportunities, but he's also able to see the openings before they even happen. It's something that has gotten him compared to the likes of Steve Nash as a rookie. The defense really does throw a whole lot of defenders at Morant because Morant is a ridiculous finisher. <laughs> We already know that Morant can jump and hang with the best of them in the NBA, but the layup package is creative. One of the best parts of his finishing is that he can use either hand. In fact, he might favor that left hand more despite being a righty. He'll go up strong through contact and finish it. He has a nice floater game that works especially well when he's slithering through the paint without much space to take off or without having a head of steam to just barrel through defenders. And then, of course, there are his dunks that now cause defenders to just move out of the way. Jaws ninth in the league in drives per game, and I was interrupted by his ability to finish. I want to talk about his passing on drives. Morant wants as many defenders as possible to pay mind to him, because it's just that many more of his teammates that can get open. This makes it that much easier for him to get a pass off to his teammate. Remember that patience I was talking about? He's always keeping his head up while dribbling, and so sometimes he will hold on to the ball while putting some pressure to create new openings and also to reshift the defense. For example, John Morant and Valanciunas both get mismatches, but Morant doesn't just force either one. He doesn't just take his defender off dribble or pass to Valanciunas right away. Instead, he brings the ball out with an iso, spaces the floor a bit, and waits till Booker basically is defending no one since the rest of the offense is on the right side. And Baines is stuck guarding Valanciunas and Jaron Jackson. He shades a little bit towards Jaron Jackson, that creates a passing lane for Morant to rifle a pass and Valanciunas gets an easy bucket. This is just incredible offensive manipulation. His teammates love to play with him because they know they're going to get a good pass, but he's also going to give the ball to his other teammates in good positions and involved in the offensive end instead of only holding on to the ball. Once the defense starts to recognize that Ja likes to pass, they tend to fall for his fakes, which leads to only one defender trying to to stop him. The defense is then on their toes and confused. <gasps> Then, there's his 3-point shooting, which is way further along than what was supposed to be. He's shooting 39% from 3. Yeah, he's only shooting 2.33s a game, but the fact that he's been this efficient this early is a blessing. He's already using that to threaten a shot because he's shooting with confidence. A step back 3 will be a great tool for him when defenders drop to protect the drive, which is how Ja, um, got him. Morant was an 81% free throw shooter in college, which is the best indicator for 3 point shooting in the NBA, so there's so much room for him to improve, and that's why he's been called a Westbrook that could possibly shoot from 3. But Ja doesn't need the ball to be effective. Even as the point guard, Ja won't take all the touches up. He's averaging 73.9 touches, which is 23rd in the whole league, even though he's the main guy on an NBA team. For example, Devontae Graham is averaging 90 touches a game on the Hornets as their main option. So Ja does spend time away from the ball, and when he does, he makes hard backdoor cuts using his change of speed to lose defenders. He's able to get into the paint where his finishing and playmaking takes over, especially because Ja is a quick leaper. His ability to transfer loud speed energy into vertical energy for jumping, he doesn't even need to be going fast to jump out of the gym. And then you can also throw lobs to Ja, which is pretty nice because you can throw it pretty much anywhere around the rim and he'll probably catch it. Perhaps the best part of John Morant is his fearlessness. He's taking over games in the clutch. He doesn't care who is in the paint, who is in front of him, the gravity of the moment. 
He's just trying to make a play in whatever way he can. That attitude not only lets him play the way he plays, but also inspires his teammates to just go for it. He's really been a leader in the locker room as a rookie, which is amazing. The Grizzlies are actually the 8th seed in the West. I know I said before, but that just doesn't make sense. But maybe it does when you look at Morant and what he's doing. Watching John ja Morant play is exciting. He really is a showstopper and capable of making highlights every night. But there's more to his game than just the posters and wrestling handles. It's quite a unique combination of athleticism and playmaking mixed in with no regard for human life. So yeah, John ja Morant is really good. But what do you think? Will Ja win Rookie of the Year? Will he eventually become an all-star? Drop a like for Ja Morant's dunks, cause you know you want to. Yeah, TikTok, it's cool. Talk on LeBron are cool too. And if you're still here, you a real one, so comment dunked so I know. This Instagram shout of day goes to Gerald, and the all day notification watch shout goes to Christian Blake. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to hit the bell for all your notifications, and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button and join the all day community for more fire content, all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out. Spaceship, no, no, no.